Okay, so in the last class, we have discussed about uh, six types of hackers. What is the difference between these different types of hackers? Now, moving forward, we have to understand what are the other types of crimes? Next is spam and phishing. Spam means unwanted emails which you receive on your email ID. These mails are the junk mails, uh, which is nothing to uh, nothing related to your personal. The main purpose of these types of mail is to fill your storage space. And fish, uh, yeah, somebody can send these types of mails using a software application that is spam boot application. So uh, this is just a fake mail. So I'll show you also from where you can find these mails. Suppose this is my email account. And here, if I'll scroll it down, there is an option of junk. And after that, there is an option of more. Click on this. See, there is an option of spam folder now. You can open the spam folder. No need to read any of the mail because these are the junk mails only. So you know, read, need not to read any of the mails because these all are the fake mails. So Google automatically identify these mails and categorize into the spam mails. You can directly click on delete all spam messages now. Okay, next is now after spam, next is phishing. Phishing involves emails that appears to come from reliable source, but but they try to get your confidential information. Suppose you receive a mail from your bank that uh, your ID and password is hacked for your ATM and uh, now you have to change your ID and password. Click on the below link to change your ID and password. You don't have to click on these types of links because these are also the fake mails and these types of mails are known as phishing mails, which appears to be a genuine mail, but they are not because no bank will send you a mail for this. If you have to change the ID and password, you have to go to the ATM and you can change it from there. But don't change your ID and password by clicking on a link through a mail. You can go to the net banking, you can open your net banking and there in the website only you will get an option of to change your ID and password. You can change it from there also. But don't click on the link which is uh, send it to you through a link because these mails are called spam and phishing. They try to access your personal information so that it can be misused. Okay, next is now identity theft. Identity theft occurs when a criminal gain access to your personal information to steal money or to gain other benefits. So uh, here what we do, we used to give by ourselves our personal information. So, suppose somebody may call you and tell you uh, that uh, your ID is blocked and uh, now you have to change your ID and password. So I, I hope you must have received an OTP on your uh, uh, mobile number. So you just share your OTP with me. I'll block your uh, I'll block your card or maybe something else. So uh, you don't have to give your OTP or any other secret code to anyone because they may gain access to your personal information and they may steal the money from your account. So you don't have to uh, disclose any of your personal information. Identity theft is like this, uh, this also, like suppose somebody is creating your fake profile on Facebook and they are sending messages to all the students of your class from your ID. So this is also a part of identity theft only. Okay, uh, Sakhi, you can unmute yourself. You want to ask something? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I want to ask that, ma'am, if ma'am, you have explained the spam, ma'am, please explain it again. Okay. Spam is basically a junk mail which you receive on your email ID 
and there is no use of spam mail so these are just fake mail so main purpose of the spam mail is to fill your storage space like google is providing you 15 gb of storage space where you can receive your mails where you can store your data where you can store your important information but if you will if uh, the main purpose of these types of mails is to fill your that free of cost uh, storage space so we always have to delete these spam mails without even opening them because it may contain the viruses also so where is the spam folder if you will open your gmail account and you will go to junk mails then in the more option you will be having the option of spam So right now I have already deleted all the spam mail. So there is no spam mail in my folder. I hope it is clear now. Next is identity theft means somebody is taking your identity and somebody is mis misusing your identity to retrieve your information, to retrieve money from your account or maybe to uh, uh, to spread rumors about your, uh, you in front of your whole class your friends your family members so this is this type of crime is known as identity theft next is after identity theft next is ransomware ransomware is a type of malicious software that encrypt your data or just lock out a lock out of all the devices and then sender demands a ransom to free your data ransom means it will demand for an amount to free your data. Aapka apna system, aapka apna data, but somebody, because there is some virus in your system who has locked your system, and now you cannot not access anything, you cannot retrieve any file from your system. So this is a malicious software which encrypt your data, jo aapke data ko lock kar deta hai, and then he demands for the money to free your data. So this type of uh, malicious software is known as ransomware. Next is software piracy. Software piracy means unauthorized copying or distribution of copyrighted softwares. Like if you will, uh, like if you will use an audio or a video of uh, YouTube and you will upload it on your YouTube channel. So this is also known as software piracy because you have copied or ka content copy kiya, download kiya, and now you are uploading it from your channel. So this is also a software piracy or maybe you are using uh, MS Office in your system which is a pirated copy which is not an original copy you don't have a license of that so it means or maybe you are distributing that software also so this is also illegal and this is known as software piracy downloading or uploading of licensed software from free websites so there are some websites which allow you to download even these types of softwares. Like if I wanted to download the Photoshop software. So Photoshop software is a paid software of Adobe. So if I don't have, uh, if I'm not paying anything and I'm still I'm using, I'm downloading that software and using in my system, it means I'm using not the licensed software. I have downloaded it from free website and then I'm using it. So it means it's a pirated software. So this type, uh, this type of distribution and even downloading is also a crime. And this is known as software piracy. Even if you are uploading any content, for example, I'll show you. I have uploaded a video today in which I have uh, uh, in that video, in that class, I have shown some videos related to some other contents uh, related to uh, somebody else content on YouTube. Uh, many YouTube say a video search curry uh, uh, for class sixth on how internet works. And then I have shown it shown it in my class and, and then I have done the recording of that and I'll uploaded it on my YouTube channel. So see it is coming now. Uh, the video is blocked. Why the video is blocked? This content contained copyrighted material because iske andar kuch aisa material hai which is having a copyright of someone else. It's not my own content. 
so that's why youtube have automatically blocked this video from my channel it means i cannot uh, i mean somebody cannot view this content on my youtube channel because this video is blocked as a result it has been blocked worldwide now nobody will be able to see this video worldwide till the time i will not uh, i will not uh, Add, uh, remove this copyrighted content from my video. So, ऐसे ही अगर आप किसी का audio, कोई song इसमें अपनी videos में डालते हो, तो it's a copyright content. So उसके लिए आपको you have to either pay for that or you maybe if it is not allowed, then you uh, then that video you cannot upload from your channel. Clear? So this is known as copyright. okay next is now cyber bullying cyber bullying means somebody is making fun of you somebody is uh, uh, making you scared angry or sad using the any of the digital communication tool using internet it means cyber bullying you are being cyber bullying by someone cyber bullying means use of digital communication tools such as internet to make someone's feels angry sad or scared for example posting hurtful messages images or video on facebook without having permission without uh, uh, informing to the person uh, whose videos or maybe whose images you are uploading so that is cyber bullying sending abusive text or emails is also a cyber bullying creating fake profiles of someone on social networking site is also cyber bullying so these all are the examples of cyber bullying because somebody is making your fake profile and uploading a few pictures which is very hurtful to you or uh, you don't want to upload those pictures so this is also a cyber bullying or maybe he is sending uh, the messages to your friends and the messages are not good like uh, uh, they may be a uh, violent message to someone else and your friends are saying why you are sending these types of messages to us now so it means somebody is bullying you on 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 internet so these were the all different types of crimes and the last one is last is also uh, last is virus but before starting virus because it's a very long topic so i wanted to show you uh, like if there is someone who is uh, making fun of you on the internet or who is uh, disturbing your uh, uh, privacy you can report this online from on the website www because all types of crimes can be reported online using cyber crime branch you can mail or you can post on www.cybercrime.gov.in so first you have to report if you are a part of uh, if somebody is making fun of you or somebody is disturbing you then first you have to inform to your parents if they they are not able to take out some solution then you have to talk to your teachers if again they are not able to resolve your matter then you have to report on this site cybercrime.gov.in here you can report under this option a uh, report women or child related crime report anonymously anonymously means you don't want to disclose your name or address or phone number you just wanted to report a case against someone but you don't want to disclose your name so here you can click on file a complaint i accept now here you have to select the category these are the category and suppose if you are a part of crime or maybe someone from your home is a part of a, a cyber crime uh, like suppose your father uh, atm uh, card is blocked by someone else or maybe somebody is withdrawing money then you can report under this option this tab report other cyber crimes
So you have to fill this form and then you can register your complaint. I hope it is clear to everyone how you can report cyber crimes. Okay, next is now viruses. Virus is also a part of uh, cyber crime. So if somebody is inserting virus in your system, that is also a part of crime. Yes, uh, Soumya and Lavanya, you have raised your hand. You can ask, you can unmute your. Soumya, you can ask your question. Ma'am, I need to ask that, ma'am, when we, uh, ma'am, when we search to, to WW, that the link shown by you, ma'am, if, if the link is not coming to ourselves and if it's a fake link, so ma'am, no, how can not, we... It's not a fake link, but the site is not secure. So you can click on, the option must be coming. It's you. Do you still want to open this website? This website is not secure. You still want to open this website. You can click on OK and you can open it. The site is not fake. OK. Uh, next is now, what is computer virus? The full form of virus is viral, uh, vital information resources under seized. Uh, now, what is computer virus? Everybody has seen the virus which is going on uh, nowadays, which is spreading throughout the world nowadays. That is cor coronavirus or COVID-19, we call it. But computer is also having some types of viruses which can delete the files from the computer, which can corrupt your data, which may uh, reduce the uh, uh, speed of your system. So all these problems may occur. It, it, if these problems are occurring in your system, it means there is some virus in your system. Now, uh, let us understand what is this virus. It's a program or a code that can spread from one computer to another and cause interferences with computer operations. So whatever you are doing on computer, it may uh, cause some interferences in that maybe uh, a pop-up will appear on the screen and it will not uh, allow you to move from one screen to another screen. So these types of issues can appear if there is any virus in your system. It is just like a flu virus which is designed to spread from one computer to another and has ability to replicate itself. It works in the same manner like the coronavirus is spreading. It is spreading from one human to another human and it has the ability to replicate itself. Replicate itself means make a copy of itself and then pass it to the other one and then pass it to the other human being. In the same way, computer virus also spread from one computer to another computer. But it doesn't spread like that two computers will come in contact with each other. Means you will keep two systems very close to each other and this uh, virus will spread from one computer. No, it doesn't happen like this. If you are inserting a pen drive in one system which is already infected by virus and then you are uh, inserting the same pen drive to some other, the next system which is not infected by the virus, then only virus will transfer. Otherwise, virus will not transfer through air. So it means if you are maybe uh, it can it can also tr uh, tr get transferred through the network if the systems are connected with the help of network or maybe internet if they are sharing a common Wi-Fi then also virus may get transferred. So it's it the working of virus is same like a human virus. What are the different effects of virus on computer? It can damage or rename a file. Automatically, your files may uh, get renamed. It can pop up any annoying message on your screen. It can destroy operating system files and uh, your system will uh, stop booting and rebooting process. Uh, it can destroy file allocation table of the hard disk or pen drive. It means you will not be able to store anything on your system then. if this file allocation table will get deleted. It can decrease the processing speed of computer. The way you are working on computer, the speed will get reduced if there will be a virus in your system. 
it can reduce memory or disk space whatever the space you have in your system you will not be able to use that space because the virus is using that space which is not visible to you but still it is there in your computer and it is using that space it can also destroy the address book of email account so if there is any address book saved in in your email account it will also it can also destroy that address book so these were the effect of viruses and these are the different types of viruses so let us understand uh, different types of viruses one by one okay first is boot sector virus boot sector virus uh it infect boot section of computer hard disk boot section means jahan se aapki system jo hai usko ye pata chalta hai kaise start hona hai aur kaise off hona hai to ye instructions jahan par likhi hoti hain it corrupt only those instructions it is difficult to remove often require full system formatting to remove this type of virus uh, if you have if there is some this type of virus in your system then you have to uh do full system formatting then only this virus will get removed example of this type of virus is disk killer next is memory resident virus memory resident virus it fixes themselves inside computer memory and get activated every time operating system runs matlab jitni baar aap apna system on karoge aapki windows on hogi utni baar ye virus jo hai wo activate hoga and uh, examples is cmj and meve next is stealth virus stealth virus it attempts to hide themselves by increasing the size of file and it can change date and time of your system to so automatically aapke system ka jo date and time hai wo change ho jayega aur aapki files ka jo size hai suppose there is a image file which is of 500 mb the file will get increase and it will occupy a space of 100 mb in your system so automatically file size will increase and date and time will get change this example of this type of virus is brain virus next is program file virus it infect programs or executable files only program file or executable file means jinke sath extension lagti hai dot exe or dot com ye wali dono extensions wali file ko sirf corrupt karta hai yani ki word ki files aur jitne bhi softwares hote hain unke piche exe laga hota hai to softwares ki jo files hain और जो वर्ड की फाइल्स है ये उनको इन्फेक्ट करता है सिर्फ इट गेट्स एक्टिवेटेड व्हेन वन ऑफ द इन्फेक्टेड फाइल इज ओपन सो सपोज इफ यू हैव इंसर्टेड अ वर्ड फाइल फ्रॉम योर पेन ड्राइव यू हैव कॉपीड इट एंड पेस्टेड इट इन योर सिस्टम एंड दैट वर्ड फाइल इज करप्टेड इट मींस ऑल द फाइल्स इन योर सिस्टम ऑफ वर्ड और मे बी ईएक्सी फाइल्स और इफ यू हैव एनी सॉफ्टवेयर्स इन योर सिस्टम ऑल मे गेट करप्टेड बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम फाइल वायरस example is sunday this is an example of uh, program file virus next is overwrite virus overwrite virus it deletes the information in your file without affecting its size and make its useless so if you have a virus uh, if you have just wait a minute okay so overwrite virus means it will open your files it will infect them and make it useless kyunki aapka sara data file mein se delete ho jayega but file ka size change nahi hoga example of this type of file is travel 88d means file aapki waisi ki waisi hai size uska waise ka waisi hai but data is deleted from that file so this is known as overwrite virus next is multi party virus multi party virus means it find multi uh, multiple breeding areas for target it may attach itself to boot sector or exe files to ye aise areas ko target karta hai jo apne aap ko so basically multi uh, partition virus kya karta hai it uh, 
start breeding or uh, targeting those areas which automatically uh, have multiple locations jo bahut sari locations pe saved hoti hai jaise exe files ya bahut sari jagah pe installed hoti hai ya boot sector files and example of this type of virus is flip next is macro virus which can uh, which can uh, infect only word and excel types of files uh, so the example is relax worm now it has a ability to replicate itself using email and other transport mechanism it may the main motive of uh, this worm is to fill your hard disk space ye aapki koi file ko delete nahi karta uska data corrupt nahi karta hai ye main purpose hota hai worm ka ye aapke disk mein jitna space hai aapke paas suppose 20 gb free space hai to wo 20 gb free space ko full kar dega so you will not be able to save any other file in your system example is psw bug bear b next is logic bomb logic bomb टाइम बेस्ड इवेंट होते हैं टाइम बेस्ड वायरस होते हैं जो अपने आप को एक्टिवेट करते हैं ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर डेट या कोई पर्टिकुलर इवेंट फॉर एग्जांपल आपने अपने सिस्टम की जब भी डेट चेंज करोगे तो ये एक्टिवेट हो जाएगा तो अगर सपोज इसको डेट दिया है मैंने कि थर्टीन फेब्रवरी को एक्टिवेट होना है तो थर्टीन फेब्रवरी टू में अगर एक्टिवेट होना है तो ट्वेंटी में ही एक्टिवेट होगा और अगर आप अपनी डेट चेंज कर दोगे एंड यू वर्क विद द सिस्टम व्हिच इज नॉट हैविंग एनी टू ईयर 2021 आप 22 कर देते हो उसको सीधा 21 की जगह तो ये कभी एक्टिवेट ही नहीं होगा तो लॉजिक बॉम्ब्स ऐसे वायरसेस हैं जो एक पर्टिकुलर डेट पे एक्टिवेट होते हैं नेक्स्ट इज ट्रोजन हॉर्स इट्स नॉट अ वायरस बट अ प्रोग्राम व्हिच सीम्स टू बी यूजफुल लाइक अ गेम ये ऐसा दिखता है कि यू आर डाउनलोडिंग अ गेम और मे बी अ वीडियो इन योर सिस्टम बट क्या करता है ये आपकी पर्सनल इन्फॉर्मेशन को रिट्रीव करके इट विल शेयर इट विद समवन हु विल पे मनी फॉर दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन सो दिस इज नोन एज बैक डोर एग्जाम्पल इज बैक डोर नेक्स्ट इज Uh, tips to protect from virus we can install a antivirus and update it regularly antivirus installation to har koi karta hai but usko update nahi karte hum update means if you will not update your antivirus definition means uh, you your antivirus will not be able to detect new types of viruses which are coming in the market to wo jo purane viruses hai sirf unhi ko detect kar payega new viruses ko nahi kar payega so it is important to update your antivirus time to time be extremely careful while downloading something from the internet you don't have to download anything which is not useful to you avoid programs from unknown sources don't click on every link which appears on your screen always purchase licensed softwares instead of pirated software because they may contain viruses scan your pen drives before using or inserting them in your system okay now what is antivirus and uh, other uh, security tips rest of the chapter we will continue in the next class now